we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> go cry a kite. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a kite. Let's go fly it at Gusty Gulch. Yeah, the breeze is so strong there. I bet we can fly a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, kitty kitties, kitties let's, let's go. go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran like the wind to Gusty Gulch. It was just a perfect day for flying a kite. Hi, would you like to watch us fly our kite? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We did it, Kate! It's flying! It's flying! It's flying! Wow! Make it go higher, Kit! Kit let out more string, and the kite climbed higher and higher until a sharp gust of wind hit the kite and knocked it down. It's stuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Our kite is stuck, and I never got a turn! Too, Kate. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know, if I calm down, I'm sure I can figure out how to get the kite down. I got it. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> the kite is stuck up there forever. No, we'll get it down, Kate. And if I could just stop crying, I bet I can think of a way. I, I got it. Hey, Mr. Bear, if you lift me, maybe I can reach the kite. Good idea. I got it. Ugh. That didn't work either. You have to get our kite down. <laughs> my ears, my ears, my ears. Stop crying, Kate. No, not until you get that kite. Please, Kate, I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> Kate, your crying isn't helping at all. In fact, Kate's crying was making things worse, a lot worse. Kate cried so hard that her tears flooded Gusty Gulch. Now we'll never get that kite out of the tree. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Goodness, little one, you've cried a whole lake here. What's wrong? Our kite got stuck in that tree. And that's why you're crying? Because it made you sad? Yeah. I was crying at first, too. Of course, we all cry sometimes when we're sad. But Kate wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't you stop? Because they couldn't get the kite down. And why didn't you help get it down? Because I was crying. Wait, now I understand. It's all right to cry if you're sad or hurt, but when a problem needs solving, you need to calm down so you can think of what to do. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time I'll try helping instead of just crying. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their kite flying adventure all over again. But this time when the kite got stuck... <laughs> I'm sad too, Kate. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if I can stop crying, then maybe I can figure out a way to get the kite. I've got it! Kit, stand on the bear's shoulders. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> What a great idea! We did it! And by calming down, Kate was able to turn her sadness into gladness. Now it's your turn! Really? I love it! I love it! I love it! Where will we 
go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Bubble Trouble. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, bubble wands. Let's go to Bubble Beach. And build a big bubble castle. Yeah! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the foamy shores of Bubble Beach. Hi, kittens. Here to build a bubble castle? You bet your bubble we are. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, have some bubble good fun. Thanks! Kit, I'll start with the square wand. That looks great. I'll try the triangle wand. Wow, let's try the circle wand. Huh? <laughs> Kate, look out! <laughs> hey, you meanie, you popped our castle. How about I bust your bubbles? How do you like that, Meanie? What's happening? Stop! No fighting on Bubble Beach! It's his fault! What's my fault? You know what, Meanie? I don't care whose fault it is! I told you, no fighting! But, but... Out! Oh, that mean kid ruined our fun! And he got us kicked off of Bubble Beach. This stinks. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were building our bubble castle, and this meanie popped it. So we got in a fight, and then got kicked off the beach. Popped your castle? Why? Um, he was probably jealous that our castle was better than his. Or maybe he hates kittens. Who knows? I just know he's mean. How do you know he did it to be mean? Did you ask him? No. Then how do you know for sure? Maybe there was some other reason. You're right. Maybe he hurt his foot. Or is getting chased by a bee. Hey, I get it. When someone does something that hurts you, it's always good to first ask why, instead of just hurting him back. Now there's a double bubble good idea. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, if someone does something bad to us, we'll ask why. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their bubble adventure all over again. But this time when their castle got popped... Whoa! Hey! What? Why did you pop our castle? Castle? Where? Right here. Sorry, I can't see anything without my glasses. Your glasses? Yeah, I lost them. Then I tripped because I couldn't see. And broke our castle. It was all an accident. Do you want us to help you find your glasses? Could you? Sure. Look, here they are. Thanks. Sorry I popped your castle. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. Hey, your bubble castle's coming out great. Wanna help me finish it? That would be fun. I'll get our bubble wand. Thanks. I'll finish the towers. I'll make the flags. And I'll make the bubble dragon. How? Watch. Wow. wow! Can I make the bubble banana? Bubble, bubble banana? banana? For the bubble dragon to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! And because they stopped and asked why, Kid and Kate made a bigger, better castle and a new friend without bursting anyone's bubbles. <laughs> Where will we go?
Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> All fired up. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, firemen hats and coats. Let's be firemen! In Dragonville! Yeah! And we'll do what real firemen do! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the firemen's training center in downtown Dragonville. So, what do real firemen do? Well, first, firemen have to train so they'll be strong. Okay, let's see how fast we can go up and down these ladders. Great idea! Three times. Ready? Go. That's once. That's twice. That's three times. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's be like real firemen and put out a fire. Go get the hose. How do you turn this on? Try pulling on that handle. Like this? <laughs> yeah, like that. Come on! Kid and Kate went out in search of a fire that they could put out like real firemen. There's nothing here for us real firemen to do. Nothing here either. How are we going to be like real firemen without a fire to put out? Hi, what are you doing? We're firemen! And we're looking for a fire to put out. Awesome! Hey, why don't you start a fire for us? No, my mom says I should never play with fire. It's dangerous. Don't worry, we'll put it out with this hose. Are you sure? No problem. <gasps> wow, a real fire. Okay, Kit, put it out. Got it. Kit, over there. I got it. we done? Then along came a mysterious stranger. Do you kitties know how this fire got started? We asked the dragon to start it because we thought it would be easy to put out. But it spread so fast. You started it on purpose? Well, we wanted to put out a fire, like real firemen. But putting out fires is only one thing firemen do. Firemen do lots of other things. Like what? Well, firemen are always on the lookout for fireworks, or matches, or lighters. Because if a kid plays with them, he could start a fire. Right, and firemen teach kids to play safe and stay away from hot things like the stove. So they won't burn themselves by accident, right? Exactly. Now you're thinking like real firemen. We are? I get it. A fireman's job isn't just putting out fires. It's making sure fires don't get started in the first place. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. Only this time, we'll be like real firemen. And try to make sure a fire doesn't start in the first place. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their fireman adventure all over again. But this time, when they finished their training... Look, Kit, fireworks! Don't touch them! Right! I'll go tell a grown-up right away! Hey, don't play near that hot stove! It's dangerous! Sorry. Thank you for spotting these fireworks. A kid really could have gotten hurt. No problem. That's what real firemen do. Right. Hey, we're having a campfire tonight. Would you two firemen like to join us? Sure. Kid and Kate had a wonderful time at the Dragon Family Cookout. And when it was all over, Kit even got to help put out the fire, just like a real fireman. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where will we go?
Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> A couple of quacks. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, stethoscopes. And doctor coats. Let's be doctors. Yeah, we'll be fun doctors that always keep our patients happy. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the hospital, ready to take care of their first patients. Doctors, these ducks are sick. And if we don't get them better right away, they won't be able to dance in the ballet tonight. What should we do? It's all here on the paper, and everything you need is there on the table. You can count on us. Okay, ducks, order number one. It's time for some warm algae soup. <coughs> we won't eat it. Of course not. You and I hate when Mom gives us yucky medicine. Yeah, that's no fun. Let's give him something that tastes better. Like candy. <coughs> the Fun Doctors! Order number two. Keep their heads covered. <coughs> Too itchy, huh? Then let's just cover their heads with these. <coughs> Isn't that much more fun than those itchy hats? The Fun Doctors! All right now, order number three. Stay in bed. <coughs> I know you're not tired, but you need to rest. <coughs> He's right. They do need to practice their dance. Well, they just have to stay in bed, so I guess it's okay if they practice there. <coughs> The Fun Doctors! <laughs> huh? Good heavens! These ducks aren't getting better. They've gotten worse. Much worse. I'll call the theater and tell them they have to cancel tonight's show. The ducks sure aren't having fun now. Me neither. Me neither. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, doctors? We were supposed to help the ducks get better so they could dance in the ballet tonight. But they didn't get better, and now they have to miss it. Well, how did you treat them? We tried to make things as fun as we could for them. Because what the head doctor wanted us to do wasn't fun at all. Well, did they have fun? Of course. They got to eat candy and wear funny hats and jump up and down on the bed. And did having fun help them get better. No, it just made them sicker. Hey, I understand. Trying to get well when you're sick might not be fun. But if you do the right things, you'll have a whole lot more fun when you're all better. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kit. But this time, let's not be fun doctors. Let's just be good doctors. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their doctor adventure all over again. But this time, they made the ducks do just what the doctor ordered. I know it's yucky, but it'll help you get better. Now that's a smart duck. Now let's get these warm hats on. And stay under those covers, guys. You need your rest. The Good Doctor! Well, how are our little feathered friends? Excellent work, Doctors. A full recovery. And just in time. And by being good doctors, Kit and Kate helped the ducks get better in time for their Duck Lake debut. Now this is fun! <laughs>
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Hair and share alike. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a hairbrush. And a comb. We can make pretty hairdos. For poodles. In Poodleville. Yeah. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran down the fanciest street in Poodleville, straight to their very own hair salon. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah, I can't wait for our first customer. You mean Custy Mills. Woofy and Puffy Poodle. Wow! We are competing tonight in the Wolfminster Dog Show. And we need chic new hairdos. What style? Amazing. amazing. Then amazing it is. Have a seat. Let's get started, Miss Puffy. Kit, if we do a good job, everyone will come to our salon. Yeah, and I'm going to make Woofy just wow. Now, let's see. I'll need curlers, this gel, ribbon, sparkles, and this fur dye. That's everything. Okay, Woofy, a few curlers ought to do the trick. Ooh, is it curlers? Voila! Now gel. Ooh, curlers. Great idea. No, Kate, those are mine. I took them off the shelf. But you're not using all of them. Doesn't matter. They're mine. Fine. Hmm, some ribbon would be nice. Yes, ribbon divine. No, Kate, that's my ribbon. But there's plenty for both of us. But it's my ribbon. Then this is going to be my fur color. Hey, give it back, or Wolfie won't be beautiful. Uh, the nerve. Uh, outrageous. Uh, hey, let go. You let go. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Is not. Is too. Let, let it go. go. Oh. Disaster. You'll, You'll never, never style in this town again. again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh. They're the worst hairdos i ever seen. Uh, what did we do? Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were supposed to make the poodles amazing hairdos, but all we made was an amazing mess. How'd that happen? Kate grabbed the fur color, and it spilled everywhere. Why did you grab it? Because Kit wouldn't share it. He wouldn't share anything. Because it was mine. Yours? Did you bring everything from home? No, I got everything from the shelf. But aren't those things for everyone to use? Yeah, but I needed them. So did I. And what would have happened if you'd shared? Well, I guess Kate wouldn't have gotten mad, and then the fur color wouldn't have spilled, and the poodles wouldn't have run away. Hey, I understand. If you share, then everyone gets a chance to do what they want to do. Said with style. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll share all the supplies, no matter who gets them first. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their poodle styling adventure all over again. But this time... Kate, try these curlers. I've got plenty. Thanks! Here, try putting mousse on the curlers. Wow! And here's some ribbon for a bow. Now, let's give them each a touch of color. Show me how. Like this. Voila! Très magnifique. With these doggy doos, we are sure to win the dog show. How about one for the cat? Smile pretty. Simply stunning. Who did your hair? Kit and Kate, of course. We'd never use anyone else. Thanks to Kit and Kate, Woofy and Puffy won first prize at the dog show. And that's nothing to bark at. We did it! We did it! Woohoo!